Hello everyone, this is Jesse Wood from D3 Digital. I used to be Centroid Central, but no longer. Um, a long story short, I got a new computer. Um, I paused my tutorials for a little while because I was out of a laptop. So, here we are again. Um, this tutorial will be on uh, math functions. It's going to be a very short one, because um, I'm on vacation right now, and so I want to make it quick. Um, so open up idle and click control N for a new window and let's start off with our generalized comments um, so you the pound sign and Jesse Wood uh, the date which is 8 3 11 and this is going going to be uh, presenting math functions. Okay, and so I will save it under my D3 Digital Tutorials folder. Tutorial 3. And let's name it um, apples.py. Okay, so, um, and let's use some some of the variables we learned from last time. Uh, so let's say apples equals six. Uh, next line, uh, uh, let's use oranges. Oranges, okay, horrible spelling. Oranges equals, let's say, two and print space apples plus oranges and that should equal eight so um and then you have to do the raw input to make it pause raw underscore input um open parentheses um Press enter to quit. You know, you really doesn't. It doesn't really matter what you put in here, um, but I just like to say that just to make it simpler. Okay, so let's save that. Control S and minimize it, and let's start it up. D3 Digital Tutorials Tutorial Three Apples Eight. Press enter to quit. Okay, so we're all good and dandy on that. Um, so that's the that's the adding sign. Now, let's say let's replace the plus with a minus apples minus oranges. So that should make four. Let's try it out. And this time let's just do F5, which will open up our idle window. Uh, four. Press enter to quit. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, that works too. It, it's it's really um, math is pretty simple in programming. So. Uh, unless you get the complicated stuff. Uh, let's do time symbol. Okay, apples times oranges, so that should equal 12. And F5 again. 12. Press enter to quit. Okay, that works too. And then, uh, let's say apples divided by oranges. Which, actually, let's switch that around. So it's oranges div... No. Yeah, okay, so... Um, it would be apples divided by oranges. And so that should equal 3. F5, 3. Press enter to quit. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, and there's one more out there. Um, you use the percent symbol. And what that does is it divides it and gives you the remainder if it's uneven. In this case, it should be 0 because it divides evenly. Let's try it out. Yep, 0. Uh, so let's change it to apples equals 7 and oranges equals 2. So that should give us a remainder of one. One. Okay. Yeah, that worked. Okay. Um, and now let's have the user input two numbers, and then it will um, add them, minus them, divide them, then use the percent symbol thingy on it. I think it's called the ampersand or something like that. Okay. So apples equal. So replace seven with raw input. Um, open parentheses, 
uh, quotation marks. Uh, please enter your first number. Okay, then put a space, just give them some space at the end. And say the same thing with oranges, except the second number, raw input. Please enter your second number. Okay. And then, uh, so replace the percent symbol right there with um, the plus. So print apples plus oranges. And then next one, print um, apples minus oranges. And next one, print apples times oranges. Print apples um, and then percent symbol oranges. And just for kicks, let's do print apples to the power of oranges. Um, okay. And let's start it up. Please enter your first number, four. Enter second, eight. And we have an error. Okay, so, um, if you look here, it said 48, and then it gave us the error. Um, I'll get to the error after I explain 48. Okay, so, as you all know, 4 plus 8 is not 48. Um, but, in programming, there's things called strings and integers. Um, integers are just numbers, and strings are just letters. Um, or numbers, too. But, um, so, we, it thinks we entered in a string, which we did, um, and and so added together the string to make 4 plus 8 is 48. Um, and down here, type error, unsupported operand type for a string and, okay, string. So uh, what you have to do now is um, is take, okay, so it says apples equals raw input, please enter your first number. Uh, after the equal sign, put INT, and then open parentheses, and at the very end, put a close parentheses. And so that will make it, and it's changing it to an integer for that raw input. And so do that for oranges too. And F5. Okay, enter your first number. Uh, let's say 7. Second number, 9. So, uh, 7 plus 9 is 16, uh, 7 minus 9 is 2, uh, 7 times 9 is 63, um, and the remainder of 7 divided by 9 is 7, and, uh, okay, um, I did something wrong here, uh, change, or take out the last statement with the power, Two, um, that didn't work. I don't really know what happened. Um, okay, so that that's all fa fine and dandy, but oh, we forgot to divide. Okay, so after apples times oranges, say print apples divided by oranges. F five, uh, and then seven. Okay, whoopsies. Let's restart that. Okay. Uh, let's say let's say nine and then seven, and so the remainder is two, but it says that nine divided by seven is one. Now that's correct, but what if we wanted a decimal number? What we would have to do um, is say uh, after so after that let's say um, the, on the dividing let's make it so it can say. Um, the decimal version after the normal apples divided by oranges. So you'd say print. <coughs> okay. Print, um, say float. Uh, basically, that turns it into um, a long uh, decimal number. And then open parentheses, apples divided by oranges. Um, okay, so press enter to quit. Okay. Now F5. Okay, let's restart that. 
Okay, here we go. Enter your first number. Nine and seven. Oh, right, okay. Um, I know what I did wrong here. <coughs> okay, um, so what was wrong is that I said, um, make into a float, uh, apples divided by oranges. And so it took apples divided by oranges, um, and so it's like one, and then it turned it into a float. So I said 1.0. That's not what we want. So... <sighs> Let's do this. Let's say float apples divided by float oranges. Let's see if that works. So, start this again. Enter your first number. Uh, nine and seven. Okay, there we go. That's what we wanted. And so, it gave us 1.285714285714. Okay, that that's that's great. Um, and while we're doing math, I might as well show you random numbers. Um, random numbers are random elements you can stick into your games or or any just or any Python program you need. Um, okay, that was kind of cheesy. Okay, so uh, let's say um, okay, so so the numbers aren't so confusing. Let's make it afterwards so it says. Um, to you what it's doing. So apples plus oranges is, uh, okay, so say comma, and then quotation marks, space, or not space, okay, yeah, quotation marks, uh, adding, and do that with the rest, uh, minus, Times dividing float dividing remainder remainder. Okay, let's try that out. Enter your first number, 9, and then 7. Okay. Sweet. That worked. Um, now, okay, uh, so we're done with this one. Uh, not the tutorial, but this program. So quit it, and then in the Python shell, Control n for a new window. And Jesse Wood, the date, 8-3-11. And uh, to show the world random numbers in Python. Random numbers in Python. Um, okay. So you start off at the very beginning by defining your variables and um, and, uh, putting, like, uh, def okay, well, here, I'll just show you, okay, so, to start off, say, um, let's have them enter the first, uh, okay, so, number one equals, uh, raw input, Uh, enter the random number up to. Okay, well that kind of doesn't make sense, but we'll go with it. Uh, basically what it's going to do is the user enters a number. And okay, we're going to save this under... Yeah, under D3 Digital Tutorials, Tutorial 3, and random.py. Okay, um, what it's going to do is the user enters a number and it'll do a random number up to that. Um, okay, so 
So before that and after the comments, say random dot rand range, R A N D R A N G E. Uh, open parentheses. Um, then you say the start number, which is okay. Uh, actually, I'll have it after the number one that you enter in. Okay, so the start number will be 1, and the end number will be, it, it's usually minus 1 plus that, no, or, so, okay, so uh, for the end, say, number 1 plus 1. Okay, and the reason for that is, uh, for some reason, um, when you do that, let's say you did a random number be between 1 and 3, it would only do one, two, 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 one, one, one. Um, okay. Um, now, well, okay, so say x equals random dot rand range, just to make simple. So print x. And at the very end, raw input, press enter to exit. Let's start it. Okay. Enter random number up to. Okay, I know that must, doesn't make sense again, but we'll do it. Uh, let's say 30. Oh, right, okay. I did this wrong. Random is a function. So... Uh, if you say random dot rand range, it's looking for rand range in random, but it ha doesn't have random in its in its database. So um, after the comments, say import space random. Now this should work. Ready? F five. Enter the random number up to let's say thirty. Uh, Okay, uh, it's getting mixed up with my old program. But we restart. Here we go. Uh, 30. Cannot concentrate string and int object. Okay, here we run into the same problem. Uh, it thinks that we're entering in a string. So, do the same thing. Equals int. Open parentheses, run, input into the random number up to, and then close parentheses at the very end. Let's try again. Enter the random number up to 30 again. It says 1. Yay! Okay. And again. Uh, let's say 30. 29. Okay, that works. Uh, and again. Okay, so now that we have that, to give you a preview into my next Python tutorial, I will show you something. Okay, so after import random, say while um, while one equals or well okay say true while true um, and then colon uh, and, and true has to be capitalized okay so and then tab these over all everything here um, okay. Right, yeah, so tab everything over. So now when you click F5, enter the round number to go up to, so 45, 4. Enter to exit, and then it, and then it repeats it. 86. Okay, so next time, um, we are going to be learning, uh, while loops, um, for loops, and if statements. Thank you for watching my Python tutorial. Uh, can't wait to see you again. Uh, have a great day.